Welcome back. It's that time again when people put up their Christmas trees and decorate their homes. And right now, research is being done to assess which one is the perfect tree. North Carolina Agriculture Department's Research Station Superintendent Tracy Taylor joining us this morning. Tracy, good morning to you. Good morning. To say that you love Christmas trees, I'm sure is an understatement, but there are so many, Tracy, to choose from. Douglas fir, uh, you got pines, you got all kind of different kind. Fraser fir. How do you know what is the perfect Christmas tree out there for a family? Yes, yeah, so in Ash County, we call the Fraser fir the Cadillac of Christmas trees because of the characteristics that make it desirable for a Christmas tree, the aroma, the shape, the needle retention. So, so we do promote the premium North Carolina Fraser fir. Uh, Tracy, you put your tree up last night. What do you love about working so closely with Christmas trees to really perfect and, and create the best tree in the research that you all are doing? Uh, so I, I have grown up in Ash County. Um, you know, I, I worked in Christmas trees when I was in high school, and now I continue my career in trees. So a lot of people up here make their living in Christmas trees, and it's, uh, it's just a big part of the economy in western North Carolina. Taylor, uh, Tracy, uh, rather, what is it about North Carolina that makes it such a great place to grow Christmas trees? We know that uh, Ruby, the big red spruce, just made its way up to Washington, D.C., to the capital. They came out of the Pisgah National Forest. What is sure. it about our, our climate and envir environment that, that makes us so popular? So, Fraser fir are native to the southern Appalachian Mountains, so, so they are right at home in North Carolina. And... And our climate makes it uh, easy to grow those trees here, and they are a very desirable tree. And you guys probably know the White House tree has came from Ash County many times through the years, just because these guys up here are really good at growing really good trees. North Carolina is a national leader when it comes to Christmas trees. How are you all hoping to improve upon that and really take it to the next level? So Christmas trees are a very slow growing crop. And if we could cut some time off of that and find trees that grow faster, if we could find trees that, that hold their needles better and have these characteristics that make them desirable for Christmas trees, it would increase the experience for growers as well as increasing the experience for producers. Tracy, I'm always blown away uh, by genetic engineering. It, it's hard for me to wrap my mind around how that process works, but you guys just broke ground Friday, a, a new Christmas tree research facility where you guys are trying to manufacture, you're trying to tweak Mother Nature to make the perfect Christmas tree. How is that process going to work? So, so we have identified some trees that are the best of the best Fraser fir. And, and like I say, it's a very slow growing crop. So it takes years to get that in the hands of producers, and then it takes years to get that in the hands of consumers. So we have recently received funding for a building that's, that's going to put uh, the breeding program from NC State University will be right here in the heart of Christmas tree country moving forward. So it's going to give us a big advantage to, to do our job faster. And when could we expect the fruits of that labor? When will we see this uh, genetically modified Christmas tree, the perfect one? Yeah, so that may, may be a little disappointing for people. So we expect commercial seed production in probably 2026 or 2028. And to, to give you a little perspective, once those seed are available to growers, you know, it's going to take another 10 years or so before you see that in your living room. Man, I'm going to have to wrap up a big old box of patience to, uh, to wait on that perfect. <laughs> good things come to those Fraser who wait. Okay? I, this is going to be good. It's going to be good. Tracy Taylor, we thank you for what you and your team, what you have been doing to make the perfect Christmas trees coming out of North Carolina. We love seeing them, smelling them, having them in our home. It makes it so memorable and so many pictures that we take. So, And we look forward to the future. So thank you for sharing with us what's happening in the world of agriculture. We appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Thanks for having me. Happy Thanksgiving.